Hi, welcome back to Satoku Tech. About a year ago, I made this video about the Helltech LoRa boards, and I see down here from the comments below that there's an, essentially an update to the procedure, so I wanted to make an update video. So on the last day of my holiday break, I soldered these pins on one of the Helltech LoRa boards so that we could breadboard it. To go along with that, I wanted to take the additional step of attaching this GPS unit to the Helltech LoRa board and transmit GPS coordinates from one of my rockets. One cool aspect about this GPS module is it's got this built-in USB port, so you don't need an FTDI adapter to make a connection between your computer and the serial port of the GPS module. And of course the other great feature of this GPS module is it's software compatible with the Ublox GPS software. So we can program it. Here you can see that there's an, a lot of, how do they say it? Do they say NMEA or do they spell it out like N-M-E-A? I don't know, but you can see there's a lot of lines and all I want is the GPGGA line which has the actual coordinates plus the altitude. So this video is about using the U-Blocks U-Center to program this GPS module to get rid of all of the other NMEA lines except for GPGGA. So here we go. When you first open U-Center, click on Receiver and select the correct COM port. Now you can see you're connected to your GPS module in U-Center. Here you see the GPS module, once it has a fix, the light flashes every second as it transmits NMEA data on the serial port. On the U-Blox page, you can download U-Center. And when you open it up, you can see it gathers quite a lot of information from the GPS unit. Obviously, we have coordinates, the number of satellites. Actually, you get a sky view of the satellites, too. Each of these views is dependent on one or more of the NMEA lines from the GPS unit. Now, we're going to go into configuration mode here to program the messages from the GPS module. So you go to Message and then you select each of the NMEA lines that you want to configure. In this case, I'm keeping GPGGA, and then I'm going to eliminate all of these other NMEA lines. So you click on each one of those NMEA lines and untick the tick boxes for I to C and serial ports. As you do that, you hit send after each of the lines. Now, when you get to the end, you go back up to config and you select all four of the hardware categories to update and then you hit send and now your GPS module is programmed to behave in the way that you just configured the next time you plug it in. Here you can see we're just getting the GP, GGA and MIA lines and that's perfect for my use in model rocketry. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video about using U-Blocks U-Center to program GPS modules, and stay tuned for my updated Helltech LoRa board video. All right, thank you very much. Thank you for watching Shotoku Tech. Please subscribe, comment, like, and share.